want to check your GPU health, here is how you can do it. This is the Windows Club. There are different methods by which you can check GPU health on a Windows computer. Here we have shown four ways you can do it. Let's get started. Method 1 The first way you can do it is by using the DirectX Diagnostic Tool. DirectX Diagnostic Tool is used to test DirectX functionality and troubleshoot sound and video related hardware problems. You can also use it to check your graphics card health. Press the Win plus R keys to launch the Run command box. Type DXDiag and click OK. The DirectX Diagnostic Tool will appear on your screen. Select the Display tab. You will see all the information about your GPU under this tab. Under the Notes section, you will see the No Problems Found message if the tool does not detect any issues with your GPU. Method 2 Another way you can check the GPU status is using Device Manager. Right-click on the Start menu and select Device Manager. Expand Display Adapters and right-click on your graphics card driver. Select Properties. See the device status under the General tab. If the device status shows the This device is working properly message, your graphics card is in good health. If you see a warning or an error message there, there might be a software or hardware issue with your graphics card. But remember, the error or warning message in the device manager does not conclude that your GPU is damaged or malfunctioned. It is also possible that its driver has been corrupted. Method 3 Many free benchmarking programs are available online that you can download and install to perform benchmarking tests on your computer's CPU and GPU. These benchmarking programs run a series of tests on the targeted hardware to measure its performance. You can also use these free benchmarking software to check your GPU health. Farmark and Infinity Bench are some free benchmarking software for Windows 11 or 10. Method 4 it is normal for the GPU temperature to go high while performing heavy graphics work or while playing heavy graphics games. The temperature of healthy GPUs increases up to a certain limit and becomes stable after that. Also, if the heatsink or fans are not working properly, GPU adjusts the clock in order to reduce the heat. If your GPU health is not fine, the temperature will keep increasing which finally results in a system crash. Subscribe to the Windows Club for all your tech solutions related to Windows. Thanks for watching.